This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane, and uh, yeah, you might notice my background. Uh, it's all uh, without figures and stuff. And the reason is that I'm having some work done in the basement. So now everything is in boxes and moved to my son's room all the way over there. Uh, Cause he's uh, working uh, outside of the area for now so I can uh, use his room and you guys don't care about this so ruler uh, this is the oh man what's the brand I totally forgot to check that uh, mod fans all right mod fans ruler uh, basically it's a roller that transforms uh, I don't know which side is I think this is the front and this is the back but I don't know if he's packed in uh, robot or vehicle mode so uh, we'll check it out uh, in a moment uh, but uh, I really well this is memo's fault uh, memo 224 check out his channel links in the description he reviewed this along with a couple other uh, youtubers uh, and the gray version so then uh, I went online and found the blue and red version which he also got because memo gets everything and uh, so now I'm gonna review this guy and that's gonna be fantastic, hopefully. But before I do so, I just wanna remind everyone to check out my interview playlist where I've interviewed, uh, you know, about eight voice actors now, uh, all related so far to the Transformers and it's a fantastic experience, so you might wanna get that, that a view. And also check out uh, DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. so this looks good he's uh i thought honestly i thought he was gonna be packed in uh alt mode but uh i guess not and uh, so i have not played with this yet let's open it and well don't break it oh really these things are still a thing all right all right so that's a nice uh, plastic thing oh this guy's heavy that's nice. Is there a die cast in there? I don't. It doesn't feel like die cast, but we'll figure it out. I rarely buy third parties, but I doubt Hasbro is ever going to do a transforming roller. Uh, so that's interesting to me. All right, so accessories. You have a that kind of looks like a. Oh, might help if I turn on the light. Now, would you think? There you go. Uh, you have this blaster. Kind of reminds me of Bumblebee, but it's different. Uh, no waffles, and there seems to be a port, so I guess you can connect it to stuff. And another little gun uh, with a little, uh, you know, those um, Tommy gun uh, clips. Kind of. That's cool. I like that. And I don't know. Maybe you can uh, connect it like that. So that he's able to do uh, something shooting. Boxes. Looks good. Allo one ruler. Some product scan or, you know, schem schematics. Caution for sharp angels. I don't know what that modfans.cn. And then you have another shot. There you go. That's the box. But this guy looks really good. Sorry if I'm gonna use a pen here, but I seem to have misplaced my Toy Hacks uh, pliers. Uh, nicely painted. This is really good. I think the colors are a good choice. It's like there's a double waist there. Uh, I'm exploring as I'm getting this guy. I have not even transformed him yet. So you have a nice color for the eyes, nice visor, nice head sculpt. Uh, kind of unique, you know. I mean, the 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 
the top kind of looks Optimus Prime, but he has like the jazz visor, uh, a different type, like maybe a Rodimus mount. I don't know, looks good. And this might be an IDW character or Dreamwave or something. Uh, but I just, I never read those comics, so I don't know. So I apologies for anything. Uh, I like the red here and then the little, uh, well, like windshield chest. So that kind of reminds me of Optimus Prime or maybe Orion Pax a little bit. So that's cool. Uh, nice uh, waist. Uh, this, I don't know, there's... I feel like there's, I'm not feeling any metal, like, ah, uh, maybe, yeah, there is the, the die cast piece, there has to be, like, it's, he's really heavy from the top, the waist, oh, there you go, yeah, the whole waist area, that's all die cast, the joint here, the connection here, it's die cast, pretty good, uh, the waist here, I think this section here is die cast as well, so, yeah, the arms are plastic, the legs are plastic, uh, but the ties, the whole white and this red section here, I think this is all die cast, so that's pretty good. Alright, so let's keep going. So he has, uh, you know, a little yellow dot here, legs are pretty sweet, uh, could use a little more details, uh, but uh, it's nice color, I like this uh, navy dark blue. Uh, oh, nice, uh, oh, okay, there's toes. I guess I should have read the instruction before. Is you can get uh, toes out, so I guess that helps with the stability of the figure. And now, can get it out. All right, well, later. Uh, yeah, I like the colors, like the arms. I uh, could have used uh, little highlights on the side, stuff like that, but when you put him in alt mode, if you want the, I guess, cartoon accuracy, there wasn't uh, that any uh, paint on it uh, back in G1, so. No, this is a nice mold. What do we have for articulation? Let's discover. So you have uh, up and down. Well, it's a ball joint on the head, so that rotates. There you go. You have, you have a look up, well, a, you know, ab up. You have an ab down. No, you don't have a crunch forward. You have a little bit of ab left and right. That's pretty cool. So you have your Ferris wheel at the arm. Uh, the arm doesn't go out very much because of how it's molded. Uh, so it, uh, that's as much out as you can get. Uh, you have a rotation under the arm. You have a very nice band at the elbow double jointed there you go and then the hand goes up and down and it rotates wow this is really nice uh, no individual fingers you have a rotation at the waist so you can get your merry-go-round you have well a slight one because of the joint here um, between the chest and the, the abs you have like but it's not a rotation per se it's just you can move it a little bit all around if you lift the skirt you get your kick forward if you lift this back skirt you get your kick back that looks good you don't have a rotation well I mean oh can you do you can oh no you you can you can if you angle it properly and you put the arm out. Uh, like this. You can get your Johnny Cage. There you go. And what else do we have? Rotate. You don't have, well, you have your knee band. It's pretty good too. Oh, nice ratchet. Soft ratchet. Pretty cool. And then you have a... Well, you have it toe down like this. I'm guessing that's transformation related. Oh, and then because of the type of joint, you have... I don't know if I can show it. Oh, there you go. See, this thing here will allow you to do a little rocking. But not much. Not much. So, there you go. So, that's 
Pretty cool. All right. Let me put this guy in alt mode. I really like him. And I wish I could compare him, but like I said, all my figures are in box. So I can't do comparison. So sorry. But let's put this guy in uh, roller mode. But before I do so, I'll need the instructions. And the instructions... Uh, what do they look like? Oh, there's that bit of accessory here. It's a soft plastic rubber thing. Uh, I guess it's to uh, do the uh, gasting uh, in uh, alt mode, uh, the fuel line. So I think G1 had that. All right, what? 12 step? Is there more? No. Oh, 26 step. There you go. All right, we'll see uh, how that goes. I'm not going to do that on screen, as you know. But uh, I might do a short about it, depending how much uh, time it takes. All right, so I'll be right back. And here we go with Roller. And of course, this goes with an Optimus Prime that I don't have. And I don't know if that rubber cord is supposed to plug on Optimus Prime somewhere. Because there's no... There's a plug in the back of the gun. But there's no official port that I can find. Or maybe I completely missed it. But I don't find anywhere to actually plug it. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I like this uh, the paint on this guy. It looks really good. Uh, I like the little... Uh, kind of reminds me of a Lego uh, piece, you know, like where you would simulate a light. Uh, you can remove that if you want. I chose not to. And uh, I don't have the Optimus Prime, so this would... Uh, this is where the trailer would plug. Um, I like the details. I mean, you look at it, you know it's roller. You know, uh, maybe not from underneath though. But it's still well folded. And there's a lot of panels that opens up. And you know, kind of a shell former uh, for the up area. But not really. It's just, I guess, a panel former. Uh, but uh, it looks good. And it's kind of hard to get everything lined up and pegged in properly. So be careful. Uh, and then this piece here, I think it's supposed to be... Um, more static but I, I can't uh, get it to work properly that maybe I'm misaligning something because uh, I do believe that this is supposed to go like underneath here but something somewhere is jamming and I, I spent a lot of time and I really can't tell so my bad everyone uh, but I, I'm hoping your copy don't have that, uh, that problem but he looks really good uh, you know, I said light, uh, it looks good. One thing I do wish was that the wheels would clip. They don't clip, they just, you unfold them and they just, they're so, when you play with it, they're always moving. Uh, so that's a little bit of a nitpicking. Uh, the seat, there's not much room for the, uh, the leg, uh, if, but if for a tiny human, maybe. And then there's this section here in the back where you do have leg room, but you don't have actually... You don't have seats, so kind of funny. But overall, it looks good. The tires are really nice. You know, hard plastic, no rubber. That's, you know, something that's rare. Uh, but you do have the same pin on every wheel, so it doesn't look goofy. All painted with the silver rims. Looks really good. And the back end could use maybe a, you know, a little tail light, but uh, overall, it looks really good. Oh yeah, see what I mean? You just knock it and everything just falls down. And he rolls fairly well. Yeah. Now, I'm happy with this purchase. Uh, my first time from Shozy store, but I did pre-order a Sunstreaker there from... Which one? Is it Mech Fans Toys? And, um, well, I haven't heard anything since uh, I ordered it last year. So hopefully we'll uh, get it eventually. But for now, this is quite satisfactory. This is going to go on my display next to my Firetox roller. And I think they're going to look good together. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.